school. What school was to his platinum? Um, it is Monday morning, August 19th, 2013. Uh, just want to come on here real quick. <laughs> my heart was heavy this morning. Um, I saw a video last night that <laughs> bothered me. So I felt the need to come on this morning and vlog about it. Um, Peak Sugar Mama, Baby Girl, do not leave. Um, I sent you a PM this morning and I asked you, did I do, do you felt like I did anything wrong? Because I know why you're leaving. And I know it has to do with my um, banner giveaway. And like I explained to you um, on the phone, that's what took me so long to re-announce the winner because I was torn between um, announcing another winner, but in the same token, there's nothing I could do about it. So to rectify the situation, if you would like me to, um, I will pay for you to get a banner done. Um, I stay saying this, if you don't have tough skin, you will not make it on YT. This is not going out to you. Um, Pink Show Mama, I'm just venting right now, just talking, just talking. Um, I've had so many things said to me. I've been asked, am I a man? I've been told I'm fat. I've been told, oh, you ain't white, bitch, with that blonde hair. What's up, cat? That's for you, Ma. Um, let's see. All types of issues. You know, right now on Platinum P, I did a video. I sure did. I did a review on some hand soap. In the video, I started, you know, running my gap. But never was it my intention to get on there and um, do a rant. But it just hit me, you know, what someone was doing to my um, granddaughter's videos, thumbing them down. And I know it's the same person, and they're doing it from a different channel went and made another channel so they can thumbs down but it's all good but at the end of the day baby you're still giving me that view you know I might just start disabling all my videos I don't know but anyways people are can be cruel um not everyone has a heart of gold you know what I'm saying and Um, I always told my daughter when she was younger, because the little thing was high yellow, cut chinky Chinese eyes, she was a cutie. You know, people used to stop me like in filings, I kept her here and braids with bees. She was just a cute little girl. And people used to tell her all the time, oh, you so pretty, oh, you so cute, like literally stopping me in the stores to see my baby and it got to the point where I felt that it was getting to my daughter's head you know what I'm saying so I sat there down one day I said let me explain something to you you can be the most prettiest girl I said but if you got a nasty attitude <laughs> your characteristics ain't nothing you all about self I said, baby, that makes you ugly. I said, because to me, the inner beauty outweighs the outer beauty. You know what I'm saying? I said, because if you get hit by a car today or tomorrow, and it it, 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 it um, disfigure your face, or you lose your eyesight, all right, okay, where does your outer beauty go then? Or you getting in the fire or something to that of nature, and you get burnt up on your face. You feel what I'm saying to you? That's why the inner beauty outshines any day to me. Um, 
And something else I want to touch basis on. Um, I want to ask this question. Have I ever said I was going to do something as far as, I know I get on a video sometime, I can be in a store like, I have done this, I'm guilty of this, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to come back and do a giveaway on this pocketbook, and never went back to the store and got the bag. But I'm talking about, have I ever hit anyone up and said, oh, I'm going to send you love mail, or you won this prize, and I did not send it to you? Have I had it done to me? Absolutely. Have I ever hit the person up and been like, oh, did you send the love mail? Absolutely not. <laughs> Because I'm not thirsty. I'm not going to chase nobody down for for a prize. Because at the end of the day, nobody's obligated to send me shit. <laughs> and that's straight off gate. But the reason why I'm touching this because um, I do giveaways. I'm just a giver by nature. I send people love mail. That's just me. Um. That's just me. So I feel like on YT I have a good reputation to outstand my, to um, a reputation meaning that my word is my word. Like I'm not on here doing fake giveaways and um, announcing a winner and giving it, making a fake page and picking that person so I can keep the prizes. Yes, this is the type of fuckery that's being done on YT or has been done because I have known about this probably like within my first year on YT I experienced a couple ladies playing this stupid game stuff like that but I feel like my reputation is good so if I ever ask will you ever try to sell me something or I ask you to do something um, I feel like my reputation should be my word that I'm going to pay you. I don't have to scam anyone to get anything. Like, basically, if I ask you, um, yeah, can you make me these photo albums? And you tell me, oh, you got to pay up front because I've been burnt too many times. Mind you, you're someone that's, that's um, not... Um, basically you know me I could see if if I was someone that you know you ju I just sub to you and you don't know anything about me and you tell me something like that then you know what I'm saying then I could understand you saying that but I feel like my numbers <laughs> outweigh the negativity on me do the math on it um I like I don't have to do that I have given too much like I have displayed so many so much love to try to scam anybody from doing anything so just um just know that I don't have to um scam anybody or take anything for money if anything is usually the other way around with me you feel what I'm saying and I am going to disable the comments on this because I find a lot of times when I get on here and I, um, when I say, oh, talk about people and giveaways, a lot of times I get, oh, I sub to you because I like you or whatever, whatever. I'm not talking about the loyal ones. Please don't get me wrong. I'm just speaking in general and just felt like this is something that I need to be addressing. Another thing I want to say, um, just because I'm a lesbian don't mean I want you, boo-boos. It's just that I'm that type of female. If I walk down the street, I don't care if you're size 22 or 28. If your hair's on point, if you have on a pair of earrings, a pair of shoes, your makeup, your lipstick, whatever, I am going to be that bitch and be like, oh, I like your lipstick. Oh, your shoes are cute, ma. Oh, I like your dress. Oh, those earrings are banging. Or I might even tell you you're pretty. Oh, my goodness, you're so pretty. Are you a model? That don't mean I want you. Okay? I just hate that. 
the fact that you know people get uncomfortable in their own skin because I am what I am so I make you uncomfortable if I give you a compliment you know what I'm saying that don't mean I want you I'm not less of a being because I'm a lesbian now nah, nah, please don't get it twisted but um yeah I just felt like coming on here and talking this morning this is where my discussion led me to just some things that's been on my mind and I kept saying oh I'm gonna do a video about it I'm gonna talk about it or whatever um yeah Ooh. Yeah, you know, wrestling out to get his trash out. Um, I want to come down into my garden, not my garden, but down here to the grass so I can show Super Rainbow Queen. We was talking about aloe plants. She's like, oh, I got to get one. Then like a couple of days later, I'm like, girl, you know, it's one right in the garden. See it? I told you it's actually two. This spider web's galore on this front. I don't know why, but. And I broke this piece off last week right there to put on my um, hand. I have split on my knuckles on my eczema end. And here's another one right here. Uh, it works miracles for your skin, um, for your hair. Aloe plants. I mean the aloe juice itself. I got a bottle of aloe water in the house. It's mango. Um, Super Rainbow Queen. She had got a bottle of aloe water. She had it in one of her videos. And I was out last week with Gabby, walking like two and a half hours the day my internet was off. And I'm like, oh wow, here got some aloe water. Let me try it. Damn. And it was um, $2 for like 16 ounces. And it was mango flavor. I have yet to drink it. I got to condition my mind to drink it because <laughs> when I, every time I look at it, I just see the sliminess in the inside of Alo. Even though it doesn't look like that in a bottle. But I pray everybody have a blessed week and a joyful Monday. And I hope my vlog didn't disturb your good spirits this morning that's what wasn't my attention but my um heart was heavy when i woke up this morning i've been up since five um and i just wanted to come on to tell pink sugar mama um if there's any way i could rectify the situation if i gotta come out my pockets and pay for it myself i would do it um I actually hadn't planned on spending any more money on YT this month because I just hadn't, but for you I'll do that because I have school shopping to do. Well, I don't have to do shit. I'm just doing it because that's me. I'm buying um, for my eldest granddaughter, getting her some school clothes and some school supplies, and I spoke to her yesterday. Well, damn. And, um... Connecticut right now is tax free so I don't know if I'm going to go see if I could walk to see if to the mall is like 35 minutes and put her um, five outfits on the way and my daughter already started buying her school supplies so yeah we'll see how that goes In a hot mess going on somewhere. But I'm gonna get out y'all here. But please have a blessed one. Um this a video was not meant to offend anyone. If it did, I apologize my apologies to you. But if you know me, you know I'm gonna give it to you raw and cut. But never to disrespect anyone because that's so not me. And I'm I'm a big believer on to get respect, you have to give it. All right, y'all, um, I haven't been working out or been to the gym because I fell 
um, a couple of days ago, and I finally went out yesterday and, and took a walk. And um, when I came back, I was in excruciating pain like an hour and a half later. So me going to the gym, I'm not ready for it. I hurt my um, right side of my hip. So, But, yeah, as always, y'all already know what it is. Um, keep it sexy. And please have a blessed day. Toodles, y'all.